Listening creates brand ambassadors. So um, I guess kind of what I was asking here is uh, you have some people, some some athletes that you guys work with officially and then unofficially. And then, you know, now you have almost a parallel to that is like the clothing, the branding and everything. Talk to me about the the brand ambassadors, how you, I mean, because you have some great stories, right? I you know, with the, with Sub-70 Golf and the, the golfers you have. Talk to me about the brand ambassadors that you have. Yeah, so like the, the official brand ambassadors, right? Like, and there's a lot of unofficials because we never want, we want it to be organic, right? Like, so right. The, the official two is is on the Champions Tour is, you know, Tommy Armour the third, mm-hmm. uh, and then Zach Fisher on the Corn Ferry Tour. So we have you know, two guys who kind of are our official brand ambassadors playing, you know, two of the major tours, but then like, it's very, we've got, I can say we get to be friends with first and then they've been playing the club. So, you know, to, to get to meet, you know, Danny Woodhead and Slauson and those guys out in Nebraska through commander Riggins and that whole group. Right. And now they all play it. And uh, Penny Hardaway, you know, has turned into a friend and I'm fortunate that he likes the brand and plays it and, it's not official. He just likes the clubs and yeah, right. such, approach is such a good guy uh, for, you know, he's like the nicest superstar in the world. So we've kind of, and there's, you know, a bunch of other guys like that as well, but it's, it's happened organically, you mm-hmm. know, uh, Brett Hall plays in our irons and he's friends with Tommy and, you know, it's just one, one guy leads to another guy leads to another guy or something to that extent. And we just are very chill about it. Like we want, we only want to have that, if they, we want them to play the clubs only if they really want to play the clubs because mm-hmm. they think it's better for the game and they like it. And, and so we've tried to make it where it's real. It's not a paid for or bought sort of thing. So we've kind of approached it differently where it's like, yeah, man, like no problem, coach, we got you and we'll send you a set of clubs. And if you like it, great. And if not, you know, no problem either. And then, you know, for that one, fortunately he, he liked it. And when the tournament was in Memphis, they, you know, he was on CBS wearing a sub 70, hat, which is kind of cool. Doing an <laughs> yeah. Interview, that's so. kind of cool. But even down to my guy. little parking lot story, just, you know, I was at the parking lot of the Mid-South Club. I'm wearing my hat. And then three guys asked me about sub 70. And then I take seven minutes out of my day to tell them the story. And now they're more interested, you know, like, OK, I'm going to check these out or I'm going to order the demos or something. So just those kind of cool things. I, I wasn't trying to do that on purpose. But since I like the product, like you said, it's organic, unforced. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I mean, I would say like it's such a new school meets old school way of doing business where, you know, it's online and that's our main, you know, social media is the way we market. We haven't never done a traditional commercial yet. Not that I say we won't, but I I don't, not in the plans right now, but our customers, and this is like the coolest part of that, have like almost like joined the frat and they're like Mm -hmm. helping us out as much as we could ever dream of. And like by you taking that time just to talk about the brand it happens all the time. And it's sort of like growing, I hate to use the word virus anymore because it's such negativity for a <laughs> yeah. reason, but it's like growing in a virus in a good way where our customers have sort of been, it doesn't even matter if they're, you know, famous or, you know, just, you know, really good customers. They all seem to be sort of helping us. Like they're almost on like our team where they want to see the brand do well. So like our customers have been our biggest support system we've had by far. Like I'm, I'm like I said, I'm so humbled by it. 